I've I've been I followed the the Magic Reddit a little bit, and even the world champion in Magic is like complaining about how you can't basically survive by playing Magic, even if you're one of the top ten best players, and only the top ten best players can. But because you have to travel and whatnot, so it's pretty bad. It really so much depends on the company behind the game, and the company behind Magic is. Not so good from what I've heard. But then again, there's still a diehard magic community that exists for 30 years, so who knows. Gwent, Gwent just released its new big update today. Gwent didn't release any content for 9 months. A lot of people just didn't play CEO modem Gwent for that time. A lot of people got bored by Gwent. Uh, they implemented RNG in Gwent, like really bad RNG, and their hardcore player base was strictly against it. And well, shocker, uh, Code Red or whatever it's called, the company, they didn't really care, so they implemented fun RNG in Gwent, so people hated it. And there was no new content for nine months since then, so people got super bored by Gwent. And now they release new content, so who knows how good that is, I don't know. I'm not following the Gwen scene too much. So... I mean, I only... I talk with uh, Game Kim. He's my, one of my playtest partners in uh, Artifact. And he's one of the top 10 best pl Gwen players in the world. And I kind of take what he tells me as like feedback about Gwent and yeah I don't think that maybe Gwent will be competing with Magic in terms of popularity on Twitch but I think the biggest names will play Artifact I still think Artifact will just be the best game the best card game and Valve will do huge things with Artifact so it's really speaking, everything is really speaking in favor of Artifact. And what really helps is that the biggest competitor in Blizzard, I could be kidding, it's not even close, of course Blizzard is the first and the biggest card game competitor, that they're doing really, 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 really bad. Everything they do is really bad. And that really helps Valve. <laughs> Well, if, Artif if Hearthstone would be awesome, right? Well, that sucks for Artif. <laughs> but Hearthstone is doing so bad. Like, whatever they did, especially in the last six months, was so bad. So, I think that makes Valve super happy. Seeing that Blizzard is, like, messing up completely. I would be happy, yeah. I think we wanna keep this MC tag, but this would be a really strong board state. Um. Yo, thank you so much for five months. Resub Deadman's SS01. Five months, hells yeah, dude. Thank you. Use consecration so I assume there could be like. Some equality shenanigans. Then we can go Hagata clear. I already think control players aren't happy with the state of the game and you are assuming that's everybody. You do know that I'm talking with like a bunch of Hearthstone people, that I'm friends with a lot of Hearthstone people. Like a lot of pro players. And not every pro player is. Uh, not every pro player is. What is not every pro player? Not every pro player is a uh, control player. Especially pro players right now are like. And as I said, tournament balance is, is good in Hearthstone. If you can afford to travel around the world to play into $3,000 prize pool tournaments, then. Or like ten thousand dollar prize pool tournaments, then 
I guess Hearthstone is not bad for you. And I haven't said Hearthstone is bad for everyone. Have I said that? Hearthstone is bad for everyone? Everyone is unhappy with Hearthstone? No, I have not said that, right? No, I have not said that. So we may hope for you to be hardcore competitive in an artifact? Yeah, absolutely. You don't even have to hope for that, it's like a fact. I will, I will even move. So I can earth shock my guy. What do you guys think about that? I can go hex, hex, storm. Okay, okay, we can do that. We can, we can find the lethal. Spot the lethal chat. Spot the lethal. <laughs> Lul, this is the coolest lethal, right? My, maybe Artifact will be the last game in my life. Like if I reach, let's say 35 years of age, I just probably don't enjoy being around children playing like video games competitively. Nothing against video games and nothing against children, obviously. It's just not going to be fun. Can you relate to that in some weird way? Do you understand what I'm trying to say here? Like you're like in a group with a bunch of 17 year olds and you're like 36 and they're all like super hyped playing uh, like Hearthstone 2.0. I feel like then I'm too old for that. Then I probably will transition into full time poker and then play that till I'm dead. But I still want to stream always so I will always try to find a way to stream. Okay, this is like Miracle Rock, probably. This is why I'm not playing Artifact right now. I really noticed that my, my mindset is that mindset of a streamer. Like, I am I really, 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 really like Artifact. I think it's super mega ultra awesome, but I'm not playing it so much because I'm like, man, I can't stream it. And if I can't stream it, I don't really want to play it. Even though I really like it. <sighs> we should save this for cube, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Layla. <laughs> Layla, don't want to ask me. Layla, how old are you? 24? Can you, can you imagine, can you see yourself travel around the world, compete competitively in Hearthstone tournaments? I barely can still because I've done it for so long. But I feel like I'm getting kind of like, I'm like not too old to play the game. But I'm starting to get too old to compete and do what I did when I was seven, since I'm 17, basically. Can anybody relate to that? <laughs> I said 24, Leila, because you're 24, obviously. I said you are 24 because you're 24. <laughs> Sleepy, what face? Well, Sleepy's 27. Well, it doesn't matter how old Sleepy is. Let's 24. You can ask Life Coach. Yeah, exactly. But Life Coach traveled tournaments very differently than everyone else. First of all, Life Coach is a multi-millionaire. Okay, chat. He's a multi-millionaire. He made like 6 million... He has like 6 million lifetime earnings in poker. He has like a mansion. He has two houses. He has a mansion and a house. He has like a separate house for his children and his wife. Okay. I don't I don't really live the life coach lifestyle. Okay.
so second of all, he like what what do I mean with he's traveling different than other players? Like he comes in as late as possible and as soon as he drops out of the tournament, he leaves the tournament. Like he he books a plane and leaves. And not the team is paying, he pays for it. Because he can afford it. And then he travels to like freaking Japan or like freaking uh, the world. Like he he just he he play he play he does it in a very fun way, and he doesn't really hang out with the other pay players so much. He's like a very unique situation. I still have to earth shock the the cube. I feel like ooh. See what happens. Green screen? What happened? Wait, what? I have a green screen for a very long time. Now, like a couple months. Like two months at least. Oh, it's so annoying. see what I get from the spell huh it's your birthday sleepy happy birthday Feel can we have some field birthday man I would be a great mentor yeah, if I could make a living from being a mentor, then sure, let's go. I mean, I have a YouTube channel, right? I'm trying to give back to the community. In my special way. I think describing life as autistic and not social shows you what? I have not said that life coach is not social or that he's autistic. What the fuck? I'm friends with life coach. You do know I hang out with life coach because we are both older. Like, I'm like above average age compared to the other players. And life coach is a friend of mine. We talk a lot. I think it shows more that you're just like misinterpreting misinterpreting what I'm saying and come up with some weird own conclusions instead of me just saying saying something that you just made up basically I said, I described that Harskorn is, uh, Lefkowitz is playing hard, or like, he was competing in a very fun way. But you need the funds to do so. Wait, what? Well, that's a very interesting way of losing. If we lose. Ooh. Rush chalk. No, our generation will not be too old for video games. We grew up with video games and we know video games and we will always play video games. Amazing. That's pretty amazing. Twenty four. I need what do I need? I don't know what I need. 
to steal one of them. Wait. Oh fuck. I got literally the worst RNG. I needed to steal it with the MC tag. Right. Oh, I have lethal. Sick. I forgot I played two life drinkers. Amazing! Uh, I hate that people... Maybe my English is just not good enough to really explain what I'm trying to say. Or my actual thoughts. Mm -hmm. 